Hi, this is Patrick from STH. Today, we're gonna to show why AMD Epic completely obliterates AMD Threadripper in Monero and general kryptonite mining. So we're gonna cover AMD Epic versus Threadripper and what drives the performance differences, what it looks like to mine on AMD Epic, and why that means that Epic completely obliterates Threadripper. So for the first part of the discussion, let's talk about Epic versus Threadripper. Threadripper is designed for gaming desktops, whereas AMD Epic is really designed for 24 by seven server workloads. You can see that the Threadripper 1950X has 16 cores, 32 threads, and prioritizes having a high clock speed, hitting 3.4 to 4 gigahertz. There's also only 32 megabytes of level three cache. You can only use a single socket, and because it has high clock speeds, it also has a high TDP of 180 watts. The AMD Epic 7351 is a 16 core 32 thread example. There's a P part, which is the single socket part. It has a more moderate clock speed designed for server workloads. So it's between 2.4 and 2.9 gigahertz. But the key here is that it has 64 megabytes of level three cache. It, it does have dual socket capable parts and the TDP is somewhere between 155 and 170 watts. So why Epic mining? Well, it turns out when you do Kryptonite mining, you need two megs of level three cache or two megs of cache per Kryptonite thread. And so having more cache and enough threads to be able to take advantage of that additional cache, along with low clock speeds and better power efficiency means that Epic is excellent. Now there are those that say that mining does not happen in servers. However, we have contrary evidence. At STH, we've been providing Dockerized mining images to our readers for well over a year. These Dockerized mining images allow one to push mining applications across tens or thousands of servers in a cluster at the same time. As you can see by our Docker Hub page, we are well over three quarters of a million pulls at this point. Docker is primarily used in conjunction with Linux servers, so we know our images are popular. In the data center, performance and performance per watt are extremely important metrics and that is where AMD Epic excels. We were burning in a new AMD Epic dual socket server, so we wanted to show what this looks like. First, the AMD Epic 7351, you can see has a total of four NUMA nodes, which is four die per processor. This is a dual processor system. And the next part that you can see is that we actually assign a specific XM rig mining instance per NUMA node. And each one of those mining instances is running at just around 400 hashes a second. The last part, you can also see that this system has about 320 gigabytes of RAM. It also has a 40 gig NIC, multiple 10 gig NICs, and several drives as it's going into our testing platform. Even with all of that extra hardware, it's still using only about 330, 332, 334, somewhere in there, watts, let's call it 332. That is paltry for a dual socket server. So let's compare that to some of the data we have on Threadripper and also the single socket Epic. So if you think about it, Threadripper has about 1.1 kilohashes a second at about 200 watt power consumption, which gives us a hash a second per watt ratio of about 5.5. That's pretty good. And it was very competitive with previous generation servers. The Epic single socket 7351P gets about 1600 hashes per second or 1.6 kill hashes a second and uses about 180 watts, which gives us a hash per second per watt efficiency ratio of about 8.9, which is 62% better. That's huge. Moving to the dual socket configuration, you can see that you get about 3.2 kill hashes a second at only 332 watts. The differential is not as much as 2x because you're getting better use of the power supplies and fans in the server. But that means that your hashes per second per watt actually go up to 9.6. That is a 75% improvement over the Threadripper in a world where getting five to 10% is a major win. So AMD Epic completely obliterates Threadripper in both net hashing power per CPU and also on a performance per watt scale for Kryptonite, which is like Monero among others, and Kryptonite Lite, which would be Aeon algorithms. So on one hand, we think the AMD Threadripper 1950X is a great 
gaming and workstation rig. On the other hand, we wouldn't recommend it for Monero mining. At the same time, we wouldn't recommend Epic necessarily as a desktop platform. We're helping lots of companies monetize their server farms using Monero mining, so feel free to drop us a line if you have a bunch of servers and you want to put them online. We have private pools, private miners, and Docker and VM images that you can deploy on a large scale cluster of servers. AMD Epic just happens to work very well in mining. Thank you for watching. Take some time to visit the STH main site, check out other videos we have, and subscribe to our YouTube channel.